I thought to myself, I was about to start expanding the lab here without you guys. Just make this whole other armor trim lab and just show you guys. I'm like, wait, that, that just defeats the purpose. I make Minecraft videos of building, so why not just start recording now, you know? And then you can get the video out sooner. How long have I been doing this? What'd you just say about my goggles? Hey, safety first, right? We're mining rock here. But yeah, welcome back everyone. This is Dallas here. As you can see, this is where we left off. I made a little... I love making these corner rooms. We can put something in here. This is obviously the aquatic lab. Um, so next, we're gonna make the armor trim lab. I don't want to keep the hallway going straight like this because as you can see, hallway's already straight enough, so we need to start making some turns or do something different here. You know what? This water lab here can probably get that fish back in there. I don't know why he disappeared. Yeah, mobs no longer spawn at these light levels. So that said, I'm gonna put a villager in here today. We're gonna to get a few new scientists in the lab. Okay, I've been doing too much. Um, <laughs> well, I just wanna show this real quick. I went ahead and made this book. I wrote down every single shirt in the game. They're called charge right now, but I think they're gonna change it to shirt because that's the proper way to call it. But yeah, uh, here they all are with the percent chances and then if I've found them or not. You know, it's interesting, Bedrock has a smaller percent chance. For example, this burn one's a 1 1.8 in Bedrock, but it's like 8% in Java, which is strange, but yeah. Um, there's a lot of 1.8s actually, and we have most of the 1.8s, which is surprising. But yeah, uh, we still have a lot of those to find, but I'm not putting the armor trim lab over here. Just turn that into a little storage area. I even thought about putting it in here, but I thought, no, I want it to go near Oh yeah, we can go this way. <laughs> I wanted to go near the other part of the lab where I store my valuables. So that's what I've been expanding, as you can see over there. But let's go this way. I'm guessing this is going to be another lab episode. Hope you don't mind. Um, I've been running through the lab as well, putting these things up. Just breaks up the solid texture of concrete. Just makes it look like patches in the wall, perhaps. I like them. Anyway, so... As you know, normally we would go this way to either our server room or our vault, but I now have an expansion this way. This took a while. <laughs> um, so we have a little room right here. This is where the new armor trim lab is going to be. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to leave this empty for now. We got a leak. So I had to put a bucket here. I also got a door here. This door actually goes over to uh, Village Simulation, which I have been breeding villagers. Made it look like the door's hidden. They don't know it's here. <laughs> but if we head down this way, I also got some... Something like sliding garage type doors. One slightly open because this is where I'm going to put like boxes to store stuff in. And eventually if I need more space, I'll open up another one. Uh, we're going to expand down that way. We can turn this into a nice courtyard. I love the view right here, by the way. You can see our new building in the background there. Looks so cool. But alright, I'm done expanding the lab like this. I want to go ahead and start making this room and lay out what armor trims we have and what we need. Alrighty, well, I'm doing that thing where I'm not building with you, so I'm just doing a quick update on what I'm doing here. Um, so I decided to go from a, com well, not a completely different style. I'm actually going in the same style as my server room. So it's going to be very, I guess, high tech cyberpunkish looking. Um, I think this will look really cool. I want this place to look unique. Like, I want to come here. So this is where we are going to be storing our armor trims. So to give an idea of what I have so far, this is going to be the main control desk. I'm going to try to... Well, it could be my desk, but I'm going to try to get a villager to use this right here. I might Now that I think about it, I might have to get rid of these two. So we can actually walk up to it and look at it, which I think would look pretty cool. But these are some monitors as well. This is like the main control desk and I have what looks like wires going over to these chambers, which is going to hold maybe a couple different armor pieces with trims on them. So my idea is, is that these armor trims are sensitive to a certain type of light. And if you couldn't tell, this lab is going to be based around RTX quite a bit, but I am making it look good without RTX. Sad thing is, is we can't use RTX right now. <laughs> It's bugged, but, but you can imagine all this red glass behind these lights is going to make this room look phenomenal. I can't wait. Um, this is going to be the preservation area. There's 16 item frames here, which is the amount of armor trims in the game. 
So that is where we're going to store them. This is a table where we're going to be studying some. How about I finish it up and show you the end result? So, turns out last episode I was messing up. The ones I was trying to duplicate, which are these ones, actually use... I believe it's just... One piece of terracotta. Oh yeah. Forgot it's going to take a lot of diamonds. Yeah, there it is. Smithing host arm. Okay, yeah. I want to duplicate this one because I only have one. There we go. That simple. There's no ghosts in here. Go away. I do like how they made it expensive. I don't want it to be super... I don't know. I feel like they should have made this one the only one you could duplicate. But these ones have to be found. That's what I feel like they should have done. Because once I find them all, I won't care about finding any more. I can just duplicate them. Does this one use nether brick block? No. Oh snap. Here they all are. Oh, just nether rack. Interesting. That's such a petty block. I don't even have any of those with me. <laughs> But that's a plus side of having a maintenance closet, right? Oh, indeed. Gosh, what? Man, that's a lot of scaffolding. It's interesting looking back at old stuff like this because you, there's some gems left in here sometimes. Not literally, but like ender pearls, for example. A map. Kind of want to look at this. Oh, interesting. All right, rib armor trim. Alrighty, the room is done, but I'm going through that amazing Minecraft process where you have to run to smokers on the other side of the lab that they'll take, but not the one right in front of their face. Isn't it just wonderful? <laughs> Alright, but uh, yeah, I don't really remember what I showed you last. Got a villager room here. I'm trying to get him to take this one. He took one over there, but I got rid of it. Then he took one in the village room. And he won't take either of these, which is just mind-blowing. But yeah, I made another tube here, um, just some more gadgets, we got another table, of course we need the smithing table in here. Got all of our artifacts in there, ready to go. Made some more lines on the ground, which actually lead to each machine, which I think is pretty cool. Alright buddy, oh, let me guess, he took that one right there. I want him to take this one. I don't even know where any other smokers are, come on game. Don't tell me he took smokers in here, ah, oh, now I have to get rid of all of these. Come on, game, you can do it. Take the smoker right next to your face. Oh, crap, I left that door open. Where are you going? Oh, he's still one. what? <gasps> it's just mind-boggling how long this game has been out and the state the villagers are at still. <laughs> how much money has Minecraft made? Billions. What smoker do you take now? Something off in my lab that way. <laughs> God dang it. Let me guess. These ones. Gotta be honest, this is the main reason I have not been putting a whole lot of villagers out in my world, is this process. I'll stop complaining though, I'll try to get it done. Yes! And he's standing on the table, that's cool. Maybe I can do something like that? Yeah, that's not so bad. Okay, you're just gonna hop, I hate that, but he has, uh, God, okay, maybe he's just working on it. I hate villagers. I feel like you guys already knew that. Turns out he was taking, not these ones up top, no, no, no. I had smokers down here turned the other way. Those are the ones he was taking. Go figure. Get your butt back in, okay. I do like, uh, I do like that. Like they'll walk outside sometimes. That is the picture I want, yes. That is what I've been working for. Okay, I've covered up some dark spots. I don't think mobs can spawn in here. But I don't have iron doors on here. I just like the look of these red doors, so there is a chance you could die. Um, I'll go ahead and name you. You want to hear me complain again? I bet you do. You, you you really want to, don't you? I had an anvil in here, and it was recently built, and I think I only used it four to five times, and naming name tags broke it. I think that is really silly in this game. <laughs> I think anvils should only take damage when you are repairing armor or... Yeah, not even naming armor, just repairing armor. But naming four to five name tags broken anvil is kind of silly. What is wrong with you? Anyway, he's going to be Dr. Mason Parker. There you go. I would love to see this place with... Oh, I need to put those smokers back with RTX on, but I sadly can't. We're just going to have to wait for that. Something about the sound of rain indoors I love. But I'd still prefer the Java sound of rain. I wonder when they're going to finally add that to Bedrock. It's so much more soothing. Get one of you. 
Get one of yo. Get one of yo. Put some trims on this table as if they are studying some. Don't lose these. Now, I am going to, I guess, make our first trimmed armor, but this is not gonna be the armor we are going to wear. This is going to be just display armor, and I'm not gonna do netherite armor. You can actually put trims on other pieces of armor. I wonder if you can put on iron. I was gonna put diamond in there, but I don't think I wanna waste 24 diamonds just for display armor. Let's find out. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it on iron. I'm gonna make these machines look like this is where we're testing the strength or something along those lines. I just hope, oh crap, I need things or, ooh, this is white. I wonder what would look best on this. Probably maybe redstone. Okay, let's see. Hia. Oh yes, you can. Oh, that one looks pretty cool. I wonder what amethyst will look like. Makes it purple. What does this one look like? Oh, that's the one I kind of... Wait, why is it like different there, but not here? Interesting. Oh, I kind of want that. There it is, our first armor trim made. Plop this guy right there. Oh my, that looks cool. <laughs> Actually, I think I want to keep going for the red theme in here, since everything's red. Actually, let's do the coast armor trim. Oh, that's not too bad. Looks pretty snazzy. I like it. I tell you what, I can't wait until we make our own proper set. And I probably want to go fetch that ancient wolf armor we made in the Test of Greed to maybe put a design on that as well. Okay, I made a little bookshelf section right here as well. I think, I really do think I should go to the ocean where I got this map, by the way, which is like perfect blue. Go out there with some white blocks and just put some lines down there to make it look like there's just lines of code on this blue screen. And then we could lock it and then go get rid of those lines and then we could always have what looks like working monitors. So we might do that. Um, I think it would be pretty simple. But yeah, I have the smithing template research here. So I have all the percent chances in here as well, as well as the ones we have found. If we take a look here, yeah, this is the rarest one, silence armor trim. Have any of you found this yet? Can only be found in ancient cities, so this one has a 5% chance, the ward, I think that's Ancient City as well. Oh, these are 1.8 as well. Never mind, we have all these. <laughs> but I don't think I'm gonna go look for any more until the update fully releases, because you never know what else they might add to the game. This thing is so immensely useful, my sugarcane farm. You know, I've always been against automatic farms like this, but for materials that I need a lot of, and yes, I mainly kind of segueing into gunpowder farms. I might make a gunpowder farm soon, simply because if I do, I'll have this farm combined with the gunpowder farm and I would have endless rockets and I wouldn't have to worry about that anymore. I don't even know how gunpowder farms work. Isn't it just like something where you have to filter certain mobs? That always looked so complicated to me. That's why I was always so scared of them. <laughs> anyway, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I don't even need that much, I don't think, who knows. Grab one more thing here. I believe I have some. I've been starting to put some chests in here, by the way. Um, simply for things that I have a lot of, for, such as tools. And over here, I have my miscellaneous blocks. I feel like a few chests won't be too bad. Um, plus, I got this new computer, so it helps. We got... Uh, okay, let's get one of these in here. Now, if you couldn't tell what I'm doing, by the way, I am putting a waypoint on this map so we can find where this is at, and I am going to- oh wait, we're not ready yet. I gotta get a large amount of white blocks. What would be the best for that? I guess- you know what? I'm gonna have to kill my shovel- well, actually, I don't have to do that. No, wait, no! No, Dallas, don't make a new shovel. You know why? Because you have diamond shovels all over- I bet there's some up here. Down here I know there is, right? Oh, we got some unbreaking ones up there. Yeah, that one will do fine. Oh, there's even more in here. Okay. We can come to Lil Pete 2 here. I'm gonna gather tons of these blocks, and I'm gonna do what I said earlier. We're going to go out and make lines of code on these monitors. I mean, I could possibly make legible text on there, but I feel like that would be a little bit too complicated. I feel like I should just make lines. Ooh, I can even make like a... I'm thinking of making a square, but like 3D, if you know what I mean. That might be a little difficult. We're gonna have to experiment. As I'm sitting here doing this, do you guys remember back in the day of the early Minecraft days when you had too much stuff on the ground at one point, some of it would just immediately despawn because the game couldn't handle 
a lot of stuff on the ground. I remember that. I remember having double chests explode and you just being devastated because you know half of it despawned immediately. Oh my gosh, can you imagine if that was still in the game? Should be in this ocean if you- oh no. What if it updates now because now there's more detailed ocean- okay no, it's still pure blue. I love that. Awesome. If you go try to do this in a modern ocean now, it'll be all kinds of different shades of blue now because of the different ocean biomes. Um, but this is purely old ocean with just a <laughs> gravel bottom. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is make one long line and then I'm gonna go back and then we're going to divide it every so often to make it look like, probably do it three wide maybe. Make it look like words. Yeah, that's not bad. And then perhaps we can obviously do this on some of them. Oh my gosh, I'm just now imagining all the possibilities with this, using different colors. You could make like an EKG, something along those lines. Okay, this is what we have so f what the? No. Why did it automatically- it looks awesome, but why did it automatically update him? That sucks. That's awful actually, because I have so many of these- oh no. Well. I mean, once I lock these maps, I will be able to get rid of all the snow and... I don't know how this is gonna work. That's so silly how it automatically updates it for you. It should not do that, ever. Isn't that the whole point of updating maps on your own? I'm confused by that. But I'm gonna go ahead and lock one like this. So when I continue to add new stuff, we can have variations. Like this one just has a few lines of text on it. Okay, guys, check this out. I am so glad I'm doing this. Also, look, this barrel here, does this look familiar? This is our Viking ship. I was going to build it out here, but I never did. So, yeah, <laughs> but look at this. So this is the first one we did. I just wanted some simple lines of code. We're gonna have a bunch of these, by the way. I just want it to look all different in their own way. So this is just one of them that has a little bit of lines of just writing on it, but this one, oh. Look at that. I made a cube. <laughs> I made a cube with little measurement lines on it. It is Minecraft after all, so it makes sense to have a cube on it. Fly up here, show you what I did. Just, uh, yeah, just, I'm basically just doing pixel art at this point. But I just made this map and I locked it so we can copy it and do as much as we want. I'm going to go back over here, get rid of all this. I think I now want to do some sort of x and y graph with some sort of you know line going up and down maybe do some different colors maybe this might be an in-between episode thing because i'm pretty happy with these so far but this actually takes a lot of time again as well i could actually go through and make the writing legible but I've, i want to be able to use this in all different areas throughout my lab so i don't want it all saying the same thing I want to go ahead and thank today's donors before the comment question of the day because I feel like I never do that. So yeah, I want to thank primarily Sean Dawson with a very kind message attached to. Thanks, Sean. I really appreciate that from the UK. We also have got Riff's Adventures. I noticed you took Bedrock out of your name, so I, I don't know why. I just noticed that on your YouTube channel, so I'm going to start labeling you as Riff's Adventures with a massive donation. No, I think I decided. Riffs was going to be my mayor of that town we were making. I think I'm going to make him the head of my, I guess, lab. Well, I'm going to, I'm, I'm the CEO, but he's going to be one step below me and he's going to be like the director or something of the lab. So we got to make a major office for him. I think that's the plan for Riffs. Oh man, there's so many of you that I need to put out there. And also Brendan Ten Half. It's an interesting name. With a huge donation, he made it into the villager book as well. Thank you, Brendan. Thank you, Riffs, of course. And thank you, Sean. You guys are all so kind. There's still something iffy about this tree that I need to work on. I'm, I think I need to run through and hang some lights off of it. I think that would really make it look better. There's something else, though. I just got to sit and look at it. <laughs> Today's comment question comes from... BB. What's your opinion on all these new AI advancements? That is a very good question because a lot of people are losing their minds over it. A lot of people love it. My opinion is, like, I'm not against it. So, first of all, I'm not one of those types that thinks AI is going to eventually take over the world. That's an absolutely overrated opinion, in my opinion. 
and it'll never happen. It honestly won't. You gotta think about the bigger picture. We control it. We're smart enough to not make it, you know, take over because first of all, you gotta think AI can get as smart as it can. You know how insanely smart it is now? But then again, you would also have to make the most advanced machinery in the world. Not even Boston Dynamics machinery can do anything. <laughs> but you'd have to make the most advanced machinery in the world and somehow combine that with AI. And then again, it would still be almost impossible for that to quote unquote take over the world. <laughs> so with that out of the way, um, but AI advancements in general lately have been getting kind of nuts. So for example, all the, I, I, well, they're not really deep fakes, but the way it can clone people's voices, it's going to start, I think they're gonna have to start putting a law on it or something and make it where it's illegal to make people say things that they didn't really say because it's starting to sound like that Donald Trump and Joe Biden play Minecraft together thing. They sound so real in it. Oh, I wanted to mess with this. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. For example, as well, the recent Snapchat AI, people have been going kind of crazy over that. Um, I actually had to delete Snapchat. I'm just not a fan of it anymore, and that thing, I'm not scared of it or anything like it knows. It's, it obviously tracks your location on purpose. They even say that. But I just felt like it, they're just taking it too far. Didn't really like it a whole lot. It's gonna look cool. I need to do so much more, though. I want to make like 10 different versions of this, so that's what I'm gonna try in between episodes. But yeah, AI in general, not too worried about it. It's getting very, very advanced, but it's nothing to be scared about. Thanks everyone for watching today's episode. I'll see you in the next one, um, where we might be working in here again, but I'll try to go do something else. Bye-bye. <laughs>